I didn't leave Lindsay home by herself. No, the dog's there. Sue, come on, don't you think you're overreacting here? Lindsay's almost 17, I think she'll be fine. I know it's my weekend with her. Look, I'll make it up to her, okay? Hello? Sue, damn it. Unless you're Jerry, then you can go fuck yourself. Thanks. Hi, Linz, it's Dad. Please change your voicemail. Anyway, look, I wanted to make it up to you for working today, so why don't we go to the movies tonight? I'll see if I can get off early, okay? Oh, and uh, please remember to feed the dog. And why don't you just stay home tonight? The last time you went out, your phone battery died long enough for you to come home stumbling drunk. I... <laughs> Next time, your mom's gonna kill me. Okay, gotta go. Love you, bye. Wanna tell me what's so important that you couldn't tell me over the phone? Last night's meteor shower caused a lot of damage all over the country. Nothing we can't handle. But, but what? We've got bigger problems. General McGowan, how bad's the situation? Mac, the president is so concerned my phone's been ringing off the hook. The Pentagon is running scenarios. They're experts. Some physicist is coming in any minute. With the general right away. Ah, uh, Dr. Gordon. Make it through security, okay? There, see, he knows me. Sorry I'm late. Gentlemen, for the last 10 years, I've been the liaison between NASA and the US military, keeping them appraised of all potential near-Earth objects. And by the look of this, we've got a big one headed right for us. Oh my God. How big is it? Well, with all due respect, sir, if this was the size of a satellite, I wouldn't be here. But this is a quarter of our moon. Talking end of days here, end of life as we know it. And judging by its speed, I'd say- We're looking at a 48 hour window before it collides with Earth, Mac. Get the Colonel a cup of coffee. Yes, right away, sir. Get the gravity of the situation. Yes, sir. I need to keep monitoring this thing. I will keep you informed. Good. Mac, you've trained the best. Now we need the best. We need to fly some of our own onto that rock and blast it out of Earth's path. We have a Captain James Wheeler coming in. Are you familiar with his missions? Heard he's a liability. Lost a man on his last mission. Well, I'll let you decide that once he arrives. Right now, we need to issue a nationwide alert. Start moving people into bunkers and bomb shelters. God help us. Yes. <laughs> Happened on my day off. I'm huh? sorry, Chris. Five guys didn't come in today. I ain't gonna call. Oh. Man. Meteor Shaw really did a number on us. We got fires popping up all over the city. I want hoses in those windows up there now. Come on, come on, come on. Anybody left inside? Nah, LAPD said everybody made it out. I don't think so. Ready, kid? Yeah. How about you, Pops? Let's bring the heat. Got it? Oh, man, we're gonna need backup. There's no backup, it's just us. Great. Come on, come on, we're running out of time, let's go! I heard more scream. He's up here! LA Fire Department, is anybody in here? We're clear! It's coming down on us, Chris. We gotta find this lady and get the hell out of I here. I know, I know! Is anybody in here? Check those rooms!
Yeah, that's broken. We gotta get you out of here. Come on. Well, what are you gonna do? Go after it by yourself? Come on. Go. What are you gonna do? Stop me? Come on, let's go. You're gonna be okay. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Come on, get him. His leg's broken. I'm going back in. What, Chris? Chris, what are you doing? Come on! Is he crazy that rooftop's gonna give way? And what's taking so long? Come on, Chris, come on. Alright, I think I got him. Look! Jesus Christ, Chris, what are you doing? The elevator was broken. How's your leg? It's been better. Glad we didn't take the short way down. Excuse me, General? Colonel? Captain Wheeler, thank you for coming. Do you know Colonel McCandless? Only by reputation. I heard he was the best pilot in the Air Force. We're glad you decided to come in on such short notice. Well, I don't think I had much of a choice. Your goons are very pushy. But at least now I can make myself clear. Whatever it is, it's no. I'm done. Done? Then how come you're still wearing those tags, Captain? said I'm done. He's very reassuring. How much longer are you going to torture yourself? It's been two years. You lost one man and saved several others. Doesn't mean anything. So now there's nothing I can do to change it. How about saving lives and billions? Why exactly am I here? The meteor shower that's been sweeping the world. Right now, we're in the path of a massive asteroid hit it for Earth. We're being told from the sheer size of it. On impact, nothing will live. Do we have your attention now? Well, what do you want from me? We want you to go up there, dig, plant charges, and blow the thing to hell before it reaches Earth. How much time do we have? Impact in 46 hours. I'm afraid this is a time-sensitive situation, so we're going to need an immediate response. If I do this... Captain, it won't be like before. We're not sending you behind enemy lines. It sounds like you're sending me to hell. Jim, please. We need you. You can watch the world burn or you can do something to change it. My mission, my team, no exceptions. Are you sure about this man, General? Sometimes, Colonel, you just have to act on faith. General McGowan, Sergeant Clayton, reconnaissance. Sir. Corporal Cabrera, demolitions. Sir. Lieutenant Southern, communications. Sir. Fitzpatrick and Sanchez, pilots. Sir. Sir. General, meet the Roughnecks. Believed yet? I will be, once you get back. Dr. Gordon, the Pentagon's most brilliant physicist. Oh, I don't know about that. I'll save it, Doc. Very nice to meet you, Captain Wheeler. May I introduce you to your shuttle? The SI-22 Astrius. was designed 
designed as an interceptor for satellite and base station emergencies. We field her up for exactly one round trip, so don't take her sightseeing in between or anything. We've loaded the equipment and schematics as to exactly where to dig and bury the explosives. We're not getting weapons? For the asteroid, no. But for security reasons, there is a locked case with firearm. We wouldn't want you guys getting all trigger happy. Great, so we've got tickets to the end of the world and we don't have any damn guns. Don't worry. The US government will be rewarding you all handsomely. How handsome? Three. 100,000? Million. Woo! Get this mother started, I'm ready to go. All right, let's do this. Suit up. Well, I guess we'll see you out there. We? Oui. Uh, yeah. Unless you've got someone who knows interstellar rock formations better than I do. I mean, if you do, that's cool. We oui, it is. You didn't think I was gonna let you have all the fun, did you? <laughs> so take her out easy. I just waxed her. Think you got this? Oh, sure. After a 30-minute crash course in piloting a billion-dollar government-funded space shuttle, it's not to get. Thought so. Buckle up tight back there. Takeoff is in 30 seconds. Once you're on the rock, you may have difficulty with radio transmission. Well, that's why we brought this satellite beacon, to amplify our signal. Perfect. Better stay tight. <laughs> Whoa. What is this Gonzo's rock? Swat bullet! Now you all have your coordinates. Locate your targets and mark them with a tracking rod. Got it, sir. Clayton, you'll make your way cutting and drilling. Cabrera and Southern, you'll hustle back to the ship and prep the explosives. Stick together. 
It's Patrick and Sanchez. You'll prep the shuttle for takeoff. Read you, Captain. The clock is ticking. Squad, move out! Sir! Sir. Okay, let's go. Don't look at me. She's your tourist. Now coming up, Cap. That's on. What is it? I'm drilling, but I'm only 50 feet in. It's having a hard time getting any deeper. That's not deep enough. Keep at it. Yes, sir. Come on, we have more locations to mark. It's very curious. What? There. You see that? A cave. If there are passages, then maybe there's a cavern that leads to this thing's epicenter. We can plant the charges there, and then we wouldn't have to dig in order to completely destroy this thing. Squad, uh... We're gonna scout a nearby cave as a potential detonation point. State of course. Whoa, what? A cave? Just be careful. I mean, we're in a near damn cliff. Just watch your stuff, sir.
assignment for one day. Relax, would you? talking about our department is only a block away we have direct orders to start relocating everybody from downtown to a safe military bunker relocating under whose authority that's on a need-to-know basis which you don't have to so get back in your truck and i'll have my men
those things? I don't know. I didn't get a good enough look. They destroyed the radio and killed my men. Great. Whatever they are, they're patrolling, eliminating any hostile threat. I can't see anything. It's because we're under a truck. Wait, wait, hold on. It's Lindsay. Lindsay. Dad, I'm so sorry. Dad, please, you can come get me. They came out of nowhere and we're, we're trapped. We're trapped, Dad. Where are you? Are you all right? I'm, I'm okay. There are some other people here with me. What do you mean you're not at home? Where are you? I'm downtown. Dad, what's going on? I'm scared. We, we are hearing noises and screams and it's just... Okay, okay, baby, I know, I know. Listen, wherever you are, just lock yourself in tight. Don't go anywhere near the doors or the windows, okay? Okay. Now tell me exactly where you are. Uh, they chased us into some old office building near Union Station. Dad, Dad, what are these things? You're dead. Because I'm coming to get you. And just sit tight, okay? I love you, Dad. I love you too. What's the plan? Major? Blake. Chris Mayer. Nice to meet you. Okay, look. They got us surrounded. But I think they're starting to leave away from our position. I think we can sneak out if we go out that way. And I could salvage any weapons I still have. What's the plan, boss? I'm going to get my daughter. His daughter is not worth it. She is not that cute. You can join the party. Where are we? Thought we were history. Look at that. That's not South Central. What'd I tell you? These things have mastered a technology far greater than ours. They are traveling to Earth through wormholes. That's great, but how do we get back? Good question. It's not like we can just call for help. Our radios are crap out here. Sure we can. We can use this beacon to increase our signal and send an SOS. But it's only good for one transmission. All right. Fine. Do it. It's gonna take some time to charge. Give it an hour. Fine, do it. Nobody leaves here without my say-so, understood? Whoa, 
whoa, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. What are you doing, genius? We're on an alien planet. You don't even know if there's air here. Don't worry. It's breathable. Crazy <laughs> Wow, that smells good. Can't mess that way. Hey, Captain. I think you better take a look at this. I think we're in their backyard. That's not all. We're not the only ones out here. They're hurting humans. Doc, that absolutely needs an hour? Unfortunately, yes. All right. So now we send out an SOS and just hope help will arrive? It's a whole lot of waiting. Yeah, in time for those things to find us. Wait, wait, what about all those people? What about them? We have to get out of here. Oh yeah, and go where? All right, saddle up. We're moving out. What? Where to? We're going down there and we're gonna save those people. Are you crazy? What about us? Stand down, Lieutenant. Those are innocent people who need our help. The rest of you need to follow me or sit here with your thumbs up your asses. I said saddle up! Sir. 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 May I bother one of you for a weapon? Move out. Sean. Well, where did you see him last? Well, he couldn't have just disappeared. I can't come home until they get back. Oh, Christ. There's fires all over the city. Call the police. Then, then try them again. Deb, ba baby, baby, Deb, Deb, stop crying. Stop crying. We'll find them, okay? I promise. Okay? Deb? Hello? Yep. I hope you know where we're going. We can't keep running like this. Don't worry, we're close. Okay. 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 Holy Mother Mary? Are y'all all right? Not exactly. Tim, thank Christ you're alive. What the hell is going on out there? Oh, it's the end of the world. Must be. I haven't seen anybody else all day. The others took the only working engine. That one's transmission is busted. We'll have to take my truck. It's payback time. 
whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Whoa. Where's the fire? I'm going after my daughter. And there's some out-of-towners out there that aren't too friendly. If I were you, I'd arm myself. You're serious? Oh my God, my family, man. I gotta get to my family. I, I gotta see my family, I gotta Tim, see... come with us. Kid, sorry, but if it's as bad as you say it is, then I need to collect my family. The power lines are down, I need to go, man. I oh, all right, I... all right, just stay focused. Be careful out there. Good luck, Chris. Take care of yourself, Tim. Chris, I can't thank you enough. I gotta get back to base. This is war. So give them hell. Well, you drive. Sully, why don't we backseat this one? Game on, boss. Captain, what is it? There. Where? What is it doing? What's going on? Something's not right. What? How do you know? They're hunting us. And that one is the decoy. The rest are gonna flank us from all sides. Orders, Captain. Run. As fast as you can. You okay? I should never have left her alone. Hey, Chris, come on. Look, if she's anything at all like you, she's doing fine. She doesn't want to be anything like me. I break every promise, I'm never there. Don't worry, we're gonna find her. Hey, hey. We're gonna find her. Okay. Oh my God. 
guys, we got company. Crap. Come on, let's go. Faster, faster. Hang on. Lose it, dude. Lose it. Go where we go, or get left behind. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Be smart. He was already dead. There's nothing you could do for him. Plus, we don't know how many more there are. We gotta be smart. Guys, will you shut the hell up?
see anything? No, it's clear. Come on. Let's go. Where's your daughter, Chris? One block up. Well, let's get you there. Oh, no. Should we double back? No. Into there. Go, go. Why exactly am I here? The meteor shower that's been sweeping the world. Nothing will live. We're not sending you behind enemy lines. It sounds like we're sending you to hell. Wait, wait, what about all those people? What about them? We have to get out of here. We're going down there, we're gonna save those people. Are you crazy? Southern! Come on! Get back, get back, get back! I can't do that. Please. Please. I can't do that. I'm not gonna do that. Do you have any children? Do you? If you did, you'd understand. They become your life. Your reason for living. I'm sorry.
locked. Hang on. find you here. You have to get out of here. They will kill you in the worst way. Understand me. You can't. Can you? You aren't gonna do it, are you? You really ought to make a run for the beacon and get the hell out of here. Just do it and get out of here. six hours since Captain Wheeler's last transmission. Just over eight since he confirmed the loss of SI-22. Stay on him. Keep scanning for their distress beacon. Sir. We're assembling men for the assault, but we need more. You think Wheeler's team? We lost radio contact hours ago. Any more civilian survivors? Not many. There's no telling how many more are left. With your permission, sir, I would like to start rounding up anyone with military training to prep for the assault. Permission? We're talking about the last effort to save our civilization. Our lives. Our world. This isn't war, this is survival. Get as many as you can. Yes, sir. Lindsay.
Lindsay. Lindsay! Dad? Dad! Lindsay! No! Lindsay! Lindsay! Nick, you're clear the area! Come with us! You'll be safe! Got through. I don't believe it. The rest of my team, though. They weren't so lucky. Your daughter? Gone. Taken. Well, you're here now. If anyone can keep you safe, it's us. I don't think there is a safe place anymore.
You're still alive. I thought they killed you. Jesus. What did they do to you? I know their plan. They show you? She told me. She? Their queen. She got into my head. And she told me. They're a dying race. Going planet to planet, harvesting for her. Their last queen. And they're keeping her alive. I've seen their plan. And we're all gonna die. No, no, no. Don't lose hope. Look, I need you. Look, look, we still have the beacon. It should be charged by now. We can contact Control. Tell them to bring the fight here. Get these bastards where they live. How? Oh. Just stay strong with me. Mission Control, this is Captain James Wheeler. Do you copy? Over. Mission Control, this is Captain Wheeler. Do you copy? I hope you're reading this. We've encountered... alien hostiles. And found that they're abducting humans and bringing them to their home planet. There's several. Hundreds more in captivity. 
We found a way to travel through one of their orb transports, and I suggest you do the same. They're a dying, desperate race. There's still hope for us to wipe them out. The uh, asteroid, it's a, a launching dock. Fly to it and fire a nuke into the cave near the tracking rods that we've marked. That'll blast it from its core. My... My entire team, they died as heroes. Please, don't let their deaths be in vain. You give them hell. And the best of luck to you all. If you are listening to this, you are the resistance. Mankind's final hope. Over now. out your entire race! Chris! Chris! You're gonna want to hear this. Soon, we'll be deploying the greatest assault in our world's history against a threat like never before. Early this morning, we received a transmission from United States Marine Captain James Wheeler. In it, he told us that they are holding several civilians captive. Lindsay. But he also told us how to fight them, where we can take this battle to their doorstep and make them wish that they never stepped onto our planet. Captain Wheeler and his squad gave their lives for this information. And now it's our turn to honor their sacrifice. This isn't about politics, or national interests, or protecting resources. This is a struggle for all mankind to survive. And we will. We will survive. Now and forever. And the universe will know that this, this is our world! <laughs> simultaneously. Assault and rescue. Assault will be traveling to the alien rock outside of our atmosphere. We will focus our attack on the designated marked target. A clean shot should blow it from its core. As for rescue, Colonel. We captured one of the alien crafts. They're taking civilians by a weaponized portal, immediately transporting them back to their home planet. Rescue. You will move heavily armed, eliminating any hostiles on site. Retrieve any civilians back through the portal. Let's teach this brave new world the meaning of fear. I'm coming for you, baby. Please help me. 
The SI-22s are fueled up and ready. Space. It'll be a new pilot experience for me. Don't get lost up there, Colonel. We're counting on you. Yes, sir. Okay, I almost got it. You might feel a tingling sensation. Star one, fighters fall in, locked on the mark target. Roger. No one else coming? More coming. Let's get our bearings and keep pushing forward. Looks like it up there. Okay, listen up. We're heading to that compound. We're going in loud. Heavy gunners. I want you blasting the living hell out of everything that is inhuman. Ready? Let's move out. Let's keep moving.
found you. Are you okay? Let me see you. That was terrible. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Come on, we gotta go. Come Let's on. Let's get you out of here. Come on. Open your eyes, Lindsay. Stay with me.